guys and welcome back to my channel so my name is Erin Kathleen and today as you can tell we are doing a very minimal makeup look this is going to be my go-to spring summer on a you know cute day out where I actually want to look cute but not like crazy um, this is my look what it's going to be for that um, so I just wanted to show you because it's super simple super easy there's no foundation um, and a lot of the steps you could probably go without as well so it's really just up to you and yeah it's super fast super easy and if you guys want to keep on watching then please do so but yeah personally subscribe post notifications nice and comments yeah anyways all that jazz um, let's get to the video here it is so this is going to be mostly about skin. We are going to start with this Banana Bright Eye Cream by Ulla Henriksen. I'm just placing this under our eyes. And then go in with this MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light. We're going to mostly focus it on the high points of our face, but then just kind of blend it in elsewhere. And now I'm just going to be, you know, going over my red spots or like pimples and underneath my eyes because they're a little purple. Um, but yes. Then after that, I'm just going to be using my finger to blend in part of the areas and then the bigger ones I'm going to use my beauty blender then for our brows I just kind of want to like fill them in just a little bit um, and make them look a little bit cleaner so I'm using my precisely my brow pencil by benefit in number five so I like to brush up the hairs like vertically, like how I'm doing right now. I just think it helps um, keep the lines, you know, like how they normally would. So now going in with my Girlactic Moon Glow, I'm just gonna be taking this shimmery blush. Um, not too crazy, it just kind of gives it a nice little glow to the skin. Then taking in my butter bronzer, I'm going to just kind of like bronze up my face just a little bit. Um, and then for eyes, it's going to be super simple. I'm just taking that first shade in the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and just kind of putting that all over my lid and in the crease and then also underneath the eye. Next, I'm taking that middle shade and I'm just going to be kind of keeping that to the outer corner and working it in. And then taking this first lighter shade, I'm going to put that on my crease. I mean my eyelid. And then just kind of blend that out. Next, I'm taking this Fuego Highlighter by Dose of Colors Desi X Katie and I'm going to be putting that right underneath my eyebrows and then kind of on my nose. And I'm taking this um, Milani lip pencil and I'm going to be like filling in and lining my lips with that. But then, so like my lips were really trapped and kind of like crusty, I'm not going to lie. So that's kind of why I did this. Otherwise, I probably would have just used the gloss. That's why I like hardcore blended that out. But I'm using this Dose of Colors gloss by also Dizzy X Katie and... Not sure the shade, but I'll have that listed below. Next, this is very important because I'm not going to be wearing eyelash eyelashes at all. So we are going to spend some time curling these bad boys. Next, I'm going to be using my Buxom Buxom mascara. Then. So with this darkest shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and this weird little, I don't know where I got it from, um, <laughs> but it's super nice when you want to do like a really like smoked out just shadow type liner. So that is exactly what I'm doing with this. I think it adds just a nice little thing without having to like be harsh with an actual liner. Um, and then I'm just going to go over my eyelashes one more time. Just, you know help it a little all right guys so this is the final result it is super easy I added a few steps that you don't even have to add because normally I don't even do this much um, on a day-to-day -day, but I really did just want to film this kind of show you how fast you could get ready and just enhance some of the natural features of your face yeah so I just wanted to show you because this is probably like 
if I'm actually doing something where I'm going to look cute this summer or spring, this is probably the look that I'm going to be going to. Um, you don't have to add the the lip liner but since my lips are in unhealthy shape at the moment and not just like they kind of like they need a little help with the coloration because I do have like um, different red spots because I pick up my lips and they're really dry um, so if you don't have that I would just put gloss on top normally um, but yeah and I really like how I added just the darkest shadow with kind of like a little smudger brush as an eyeliner I just helps to find the eyes a little more. Oh, I got some mascara. Whatever. I'm not gonna fix it right now. Um, but you don't have to do that either. Um, I think just adding the tiny bit of eyeshadow right up here really like helps, you know, define the eyes a little more. I didn't want to add too much powder to my skin. That's why I kind of just did the highlight right here and right here. Um, and instead of just doing a regular brush or blush, I wanted to just add, because I have already kind of red pigmentation in my cheeks. So I did just add um, like a, a shiny blusher, whatever, um, just kind of right here, just to add a little more, you know, sheen to make this skin look more glowy and healthy. Um, and then I did just add a little bit of bronzer. I just kind of wanted to add just a little bit more definition. Probably just done my little quickie stick. I bought a full size one, guys. I absolutely love this. If you guys watch any of my videos, um, you know that I usually get the smaller ones to see if I like it, if it's worth investing the money. And this definitely is. I love this thing. This small one lasted me a long time. A little long time for me because I don't do my makeup on a daily. Um, but this, oh, I'm, I'm super happy. So I probably could have done this because it's really nice. You can build it up or make it look super natural. Um, but like, this is just faster to me. And I probably, if I wanted something, just a little something, I would do this. If I had a little more time, I'd probably do this one and not put powder on because I feel like the less powder, it's gonna look more natural and more like luminous and whatnot. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please go check out my past other vids, you know, whatnot. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited for this winter time to be over. Um, even though right now it is the coldest day here um, in MN since I think, you know, I don't know, a long time. It's, a, it's been a long time. I think it was like the 1800s that this is, it's colder than. It's like negative 30 something. So, but I didn't have to go into work today. So there's that. So there's that. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry for rambling on. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Leave any nice comments down below. Turn on that post notification bell. And yeah, have a great day, night, weekend, wherever it is, whenever you watch this, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Bye.